Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. In this video, let's make this ring holder. It's walnut and hazelnut. It, uh, you can put a ring on it at night and other rings and jewelry down in the base. It actually is uh, from an article in American Wood Turner not too long ago. It is a base and a flame. It's a nice little project. Let's turn it. I'm mounting a piece of walnut four inches square and one inch thick to the face of my chuck jaws. It is held in place with the live center. If it spins, no harm done. I'll be trimming that face later anyway. I just then cinch up the tailstock a little tighter. For now, the task is to shape the bottom side of the saucer and cut a tenon for remounting. I found it easier to cut from the solid bottom out to the ragged perimeter. This gives me more opportunity to ride the bevel and avoid a lot of very rough turning. I true up the tenon with my skew. Now the chuck is already in position to reverse the saucer and mount it with the tenon. I still want to bring up the tailstock for as long as possible. This works great for this project since I want to preserve the center of the saucer anyway. Using my gouge, I'm hollowing out the top side. When nearly finished, I'm refining the interior with a round nose scraper. Now I can sand and apply lacquer to as much of the saucer as possible and wipe away the excess. When dry, I'm again sanding with 400 grit paper and applying another coat of lacquer. Now while still mounted on the tenon, I can drill a 3 8 inch hole to mount the flame portion later. Next I've mounted a threaded faceplate to the lathe. I'm pressing the saucer against the faceplate with a paper towel, providing a little padding. Now I can refine the foot with a spindle gouge and a skew. I'll sand and finish the foot again now, but I still need to sand off the small nub on the drill press. For the flame portion, I'm using hazelnut pruned from my yard. I've mounted it between senders for roughing, then I need to cut a 3 8 inch tenon that I will use to mount it to the chuck and to glue it into the base saucer section. My sizing wrenches get the tenon slightly oversized. I finish it to size with a skew. I'm doing most of the shaping now. This is a great time for skew practice. I only need to mount it to a chuck for the final trim and finishing. Then flip the hazelnut around to mount it into the chuck. Now I need to shape the tip and prepare to sand and finish the flame portion. Then I only need to glue the flame to the saucer. This ring holder is a fairly simple project that I can turn quickly. A ring, or two, can be placed on the flame portion. Other jewelry can be in the saucer section. I like it with the contrasting wood. I also can visualize this project with a segmented base and or a Celtic knot in the flame part. That's all for my ring holder. Please give this video a thumbs up subscribe on my website, and tell your friends. Always wear your full face shield. Goggles are not enough protection. Until next week, this is Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns. Come back next week for a new wood turning video.